Today I am super excited to announce Polished Hosting. Polish Hosting is our new product to simply and securely deploy your Shiny applications. Polish Hosting has been in a kind of soft launch state for the last couple months, and today we're ready to make it generally available. Some features of Polish Hosting include it's very easy to deploy. You just do one function call and your app is deployed, accessible via the internet. It's secure, always uses TLS. You can add your custom domains to it very easily. You can deploy to 26 different regions across the globe, which by deploying closer to your users, you reduce latency. You can deploy with differing amounts of RAM depending on how large your application is. And you can use your application as much as you want once it's on Polish Hosting. To use Polish Hosting, you first need a Polish.tech account. If you don't already have one, go over to the dashboard, dashboard.polish.tech and it'll uh, have a sign in registration page. Just register right there. I've already registered for this demo account. Basically, so now that I have an account, let's, let's deploy an app to Polish Hosting. So let's open up our studio and here's my Shiny app. You're going to obviously need a Shiny app to deploy a sh your Shiny app to Polish Hosting. Let's quickly run this Shiny app real quick just to make sure that it's working. And here's my Shiny app. This is an app that I made a while ago for simulating insurance claims. It's frequency, severity, application, but that's not important. You can deploy any Shiny application that you want to Polish Hosting. But it looks like this app's working, so let's go ahead and deploy it. Let's head back to our studio. And the, we don't need to save that. And the one function call to deploy your, this app to Polish Hosting is from the Polished R package, deploy app. And we need to pass two arguments to deploy app. App name, we need to give our app a name, and I'm going to call it claims sim. And we need to pass in our polished.tech API key. And you get your polished.tech API key over in your polish.tech dashboard that we were just on. You go to the account page and you copy the API key here. Now, I, I've enabled billing down here. Yours might look different. It might say, it might have a button here to enable billing. You have to enable billing to use Polish Hosting. Polish Hosting is $10 a month per app, but you get $10 of credits. So the first month is essentially free. So let's go back to our studio now that I've copied the, the API key. And we just paste it right here. And that's it. We just need to run this function now. Let me stop the application real quick and run the function. And you can see it printed out some messages to the console, creating your application bundle that's zipping up the application deploying the application, it's sending it off to Polish Hosting. And now on Polish Hosting, uh, we're basically detecting the, the, all the package and system dependencies, creating a Docker image and building that image right now. And, and then we'll run the container of that image once it's, once it's done. And that'll normally take about five to 20 minutes, depending on how large your application is. So we'll stop here and pick this back up once it's okay. And here is our freshly deployed shiny application on polished hosting. Let's play with the app real quick to make sure everything's working. And the app is working as expected. Now anybody can access this application at this URL. It's uh, set up with HTTPS. And this is just the default URL that is generated by polished hosting. The next step is going to be to, to change this domain to use our custom domain, whatever your domain name happens to be. And to do that, we'll head back over to our polish.tech dashboard. We now have our first app on this dashboard. So we go over to our Shiny Apps page, and this is the app that we just deployed. It's called Claim Sim. This is the URL that it's hosted at right now. We can 
tell that it's deployed on Polish hosting right here. And in order to add a custom domain, you click on this edit button here. We click on this button to set up our custom domain. And you can enter in any domain, your, your domain name here. So whatever your company's domain name is, just right there, you can use a, uh, a base, a regular domain name, or you can use a sub domain like that. I'm going to set up a subdomain. So I'm just going to call it sim.polish.tech. And once you have your domain typed in there, you click this button to get token. And then what you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste each one of these DNS records over to your DNS provider. I my DNS provider is this company, Versal. So I'm actually going to walk through the process of adding the DNS records to my DNS provider real quick. You'll most likely, almost certainly, have a different domain name service provider. Maybe GoDaddy, maybe through AWS. So, uh, those are common options. So first we need to copy these four A records. So we'll come over here. Sim was the subdomain, the type is A, and that's the value and the TTL. Verify button again. And I think it's working. Let's give it a second. Yep, domain verified. We're all good. So we can close out of here now. I'll give you this green message saying that the domain is verified. And even after it's verified, now you'll have to wait about an hour and then you'll finally be able to go to your custom domain here. I'll just try it out real quick to see if it works. But normally, yep, yeah, it takes about an hour for this to propagate now and then you'll be able to access your Shiny application, this Shiny application on this domain. And for more information about setting up Polish hosting, head on over to the docs page at polish.tech, go to the hosting section, and we have get, getting started, um, documentation, more information about setting up custom domains, information about how to connect to your database from your Shiny application, and information about deploying R Markdown that renders PDFs from your shiny application and there'll be a lot more to come so stay tuned all right thanks for watching mm -hmm.